Just a day after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, removing federal protection for abortion, Wisconsin Democrats are rallying their base around the issue. Our Madeline O'Neill has been at the party's state convention in La Crosse. She joins us live with a look at the impact the Supreme Court's decision is having. I can tell you Democrats here are fired up. The issue of the Supreme Court ruling has made its way into virtually every speech we've heard, including from Governor Tony Evers, who just finished his speech in this room here. And Democrats we talked with tell me it's not just their names on the ballots in upcoming elections. It's the issue of abortion as well. It's become a rallying cry. We gotta go out to vote! As Democrats push back against the Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe v. Wade. Governor Tony Evers brought up his seven granddaughters. Yesterday, they were made second class citizens. That's bull. In addition to strong words, Evers offered promises regarding the 1849 state law banning doctors from performing abortions. Clemency will be offered. State Attorney General Josh Call says his office won't take on such cases. Diverting those resources to investigating. Uh, alleged violations of the 19th century abortion ban would be contrary to public safety. One Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate will take on Republican Ron Johnson in November. We asked the four polling above 1% in the recent Marquette poll what they would do in response to the SCOTUS decision. We're going to in the filibuster and we are going to vote to make sure that the right to choose is enshrined into law in this country. What I would want to do is get rid of the filibuster um, and make sure that we're able to codify Roe v. Wade. I would immediately make sure that we had legislation to codify Roe v. Wade. Number one, you get rid of the filibuster. But before getting rid of the filibuster, Democrats have got to win Wisconsin. But Republicans are trying to win Wisconsin too. The Wisconsin GOP voiced its support for the Supreme Court's decision at a Saturday press conference. The vast majority of people know that we stand for the sanctity of life from the beginning and we'll continue to work on that. They pointed to other issues they say will be on voters' minds. This election is about three things that the Biden administration and Tony Evers are failing on. That is gas, groceries, and grandkids. The Republicans did not endorse a candidate for governor at their state convention earlier this year, but whoever wins the August primary will face Evers in November. Live in La Crosse, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. All right, Maddie, thanks.